Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters played a game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we gonna die. Now. Robo Initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wouldn't pay any attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Bases! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's, She's right, though. Shut up. While our ball hunting buddies beat the slam and jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Pando, the Siren. Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, second! You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. It's a lovely day in Flame Rock Refuge, a far cry from- Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Huh. This area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Suddenly you're attacked by a horde of skellymans! They start shooting at you! You get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Oh, oh, I want to smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! The dragon attacks and... <gasps> Critical hit! Great. Are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Hmm. Touche. Okay, everybody back up! Who's next? I wanted to kill something. Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy?
You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. A grand idea. The Queen has gone missing! Maybe her bodyguard Eleanor knows where she went. If the Queen doesn't return, we shall never see the sun again! Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. The Queen is counting on you. Uh, the bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! But it looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Good morrow, fair maiden. Does something trouble you? The queen is missing! She went to the forest to bring the light back to the world! So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree light to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. They say the sorcerer can raise the dead. Nobody's technically allowed in the forest since the world went dark, but the gatekeeper's a real pushover. Just tell him I sent you. Yes, the queen went into the forest. It's too dangerous to go alone. I shall accompany you. Just one second, and... Whoop! Time out! I gotta take this. This Tina. It's Mr. Torn! Tina! Put me in that game! Okay! The gatekeeper is now Mr. Torn! Woo! Well, I am to see you! Oh. So I'm a gatekeeper, huh? In that case... You gotta prove your bad attitude to get past me! First task, blow up the village of scouting blimps with the fire ribbon! Because... Sends! This town doesn't have a tower.
Moxie, I'm surprised you're not right over because that body. Oh, oh, come on, alright. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll never say nothing douchey again, I promise. Bitch! That is unacceptable! Chase him down! Punch him so hard he explodes! I'm having fun. Well done! You're now badass enough to survive the forest! <sighs> I just realized this new mission! out of our way. All right, fair enough. Okay, Mr. Torg, I banish you to the stocks. The stocks? Awesome! Anyway, I'm called Dadlin, the gatekeeper. I shall open the way to the forest. You will not survive the horrors of the forest on your own. I shall meet you inside and serve as a guide. Tranquility. Boring. Hmm. Okay, good point. Dang, now I gotta come up with a better name for the forest. Maybe the queen left it to mark her trail. Then we should follow the jewels that'll lead us right to her. Yeah, with Big Lily style set. Just stick to the main mode and you'll be ace. This forest grew from the corpses of my enemies. Isn't that a kick in the ass? Hey, maybe after I kill you, a fern will grow out of your body or something. People like ferns. You ever notice that? Follow me. I believe the queen went this away. Cur, 
curses, a dead end. There must be some way through. This is orcish writing. Hmm. It says you need to bathe the artifacts in the juices of blah blah blah. Whatever. Looks like you just need to collect some blood fruit. What the hell? What's a blood fruit? It's a squishy thing that grows on the trees over here! Blood fruit grew on the tree ants. Well, they do plenty fast. Did you pull enough to grab the fruit without killing the tree first?
different. Yeah. Oh, it's the... Where's your party? Your little party friend! Tina, I told you what happened to Bloodwing. So anyway, she's so cute! Where is she? Let's just play the game, alright? For the path of righteousness and salvation, we shall be free! Hold it! Come to evil, I shall not! Roland's not- Oh, I got an idea, I got an idea! The gatekeeper says- More orcish scrawls. It reads, Retrieve the White Knight, for only he can open the way. And I know just where he is! Wait, point! Suddenly, you see the White Knight before you in all of his handsome, heroic glory!
Hey, <laughs> shorty, you're the best. I owe you one. <sighs> this can't be healthy. You fought well, girl. I'll be honored as hell to join your quest. Roland doesn't talk like that. He does when I'm voicing him, girl. Yes, for shizzle. Now let's go. Hey, girl. I was in that blimp looking for the queen before somebody burned it down. My bad! So, who's this queen, anyway? What are we looking for? She's the most beautifulest woman in the history of ever. Shorty's got legs for days! Wow, that was unhelpful. Tina? Tina! Sorry. Just thinking about them legs. We shall find your queen there. Oh, my God. 
As a representative of the Queen's Imperial Guard, I, Roland, W. Anyway, if you're looking for the Queen, the Sorcerer's got her. You'll need to cut through the Dwarven Slave Mines to reach his tower. Enter the Dwarven Mines. You hear the anguished wails of the sorcerers, political prisoners, and enslaved dwarves. I am a dwarf, and I am enslaved! These mines house Ragnar, king of the dwarves, and leader of the anti-sorcerer resistance. Mayhaps, if you talk to the dwarves, you could join forces and become unstoppable, mayhaps. Don't worry, boys. My charisma is off the charts. I'll convince him to... Ah, 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 Lily. Whoever rolls highest will talk to him. Throw them dice. Twenty! <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Lil. Looks like Brick's gonna talk to the Dwarf King. I have a bad feeling about this. No, 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 no,
Over here, laddie! My boys are itching to fight by your side. I punch him! Brick, don't. If you just talk to him, we can... I punch him! <sighs> Slag. Killing me here, Brick. I'm getting taunted by a 13 year old girl doing the voice of a grown man. I told you guys we should have waited for Roland to play. His character has the highest leadership skill. In the distance, you see a lonely wizard blocking your path. Maybe he can help us out of here. I say we talk to him. With words. I don't know why y'all looking at me. Oh, no! Another band of adventurers looking to take down the sorcerer. Look, you won't make it. You'll either die or be enslaved. And I can't good conscience let you continue with your full-hearted quest. You shall not pass! So! Howard? Damn it! Fine. If you really want to get to the Sorcerer's Castle, I'll mark the exit on your map. But if you die, you won't be able to say I didn't warn you. The exit is locked by Dwarven door locking magic. Well, damn! Now how do we get out of here? You know, that wizard may know something about dwarven door locking magic. <laughs>
This jump is impossible. Fine. My bad. I'll make it doable.
Exactly like Salvador. Kind of, uh... Yeah, I know, Free Lily. You think it's racist or something? I'll sell downstairs if he thinks it's racist. Hey, Salvador! Is it okay if all the dwarves in my campaign look like you? That is awesome! Oh, yeah! Not a racist. Standing before you is a dwarven puzzle. To get past it, you gotta think real hard. To the max! Hmm... I have no idea what the hell I'm doing.
escape puzzles. I want to break stuff. Is that how you wanted us to solve the puzzle? Yeah. Let's go here. I liked it. You entered the lair of Grey Tooth the Dwarf. The sorcerer brainwashed him into running this place. You also noticed a weird ass magic globe. Might be worth to the All the way back? Oh, man. All right, girl, all right. Here. I made some glowy portals for your laser butts. Did you just say laser butts? Whatever that is, I want it. R-A-T-F? We, we have, have to unscramble, unscramble that? that? Is it raft? I bet it's raft. Not the password? Oh, God. I just figured it out. So say it. Fine. It's. Bart. Thank you. 
With the sorcerer's tower in sight, do you think of what you're going to spend your reward money on once you rescue the queen? Lots and lots of books. And guns.
your wickedness from your loot! <laughs> Get my camcorder ready. There we go. 
<laughs> but dubstep behind footage of you guys dying and get tons of hits on the Echo Net. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Okay, action! The dragon from the beginning of the campaign approaches! Smokey, don't let him hate you like that. Sounds like you could use some help. I'm a summon Roland here. And I wish you wouldn't. Go time! Die! Are you kidding me right now? Raise your sword! Ah, dragon! No! Well, already! That is beautiful. You drop into the moldy dungeon, embarrassed at how easily the sorcerer lured you into his trap! Good luck escaping my dungeon, jackasses. <laughs> it's been real. So, how do we get back to town? You can't! You trap, son! But I wanna do side quests and stuff. Oh, good point. Suddenly, this happens! Sounds like a prisoner or something. Maybe she'll know a way out of here. Well, let's go find her then. <laughs> Tina, back there, you can't just force us to fall into a trap. We need a chance to escape it or something. I'm sorry, I didn't think you guys would make it so far in one session. I didn't plan this part in advance. I'm making it up as I go. Yeah, but the rules say... Lily, downstairs six people are beating info out of a Hyperion spy, and you're talking about rules? Seriously?
running. You're done. Save me.
Wow.
All right. We're all just seeing who does the talking. Oh, for the love of... Ha-ha! <laughs> Twitty! I punch her! Rick, no! She's our only ticket out of here. <sighs> Fine. I'll talk to the prisoner. Release me. I shall show you the way to my father's keep. Sure, why not? <sighs> Finally. I am free to wreak my vengeance upon the world! Starting with you! I told you we should have punched her! I told you! Oh, yeah. Probably should have mentioned I kind of only trapped in my dungeon so I could do exactly what you just did, so... Have fun getting killed by my freak-ass daughter, I guess. Gotcha!
pain, but hey, at least you get to die in unimaginable freaking pain. Here it is, the big boss! Are you sure you don't want to wait for Roland? We can't wait for Roland because he has for a boo fight! Really good, Tina. Hell yeah! That was honestly pretty fun. Hey guys, that spy just coughed up the access codes to the Hyperion moon base. Anybody feel like blowing up a space station? Hell yes, I do! 
And so the Vault Hunters and their little psychopath headed back into the wasteland. Back, once again, into the world of blood and insanity they'd taken an all too brief vacation from. Goodbye. And in the days to come, they'd think of their fallen friends. Of the adventures they shared, both real and imaginary. And they'd remember that no matter how bad things got, they were never truly alone so long as they had each other. I love you guys! Aww. And then Claptrap said something stupid and ruined everything. Great job. You defeated the sorcerer and brought light back to the world. Sounds like you deserve a rest. Don't worry about the queen. I'll lead her back to town myself. Oh, are we done? We can't be done. Hey, Emma! You got tons of side quests to do, boo, and I got all the time in the world.